It's another Wednesday that the Lord has blessed us. Welcome again as we continue with this scene. It has been very, it's a very, very um, a topic that um, for me also I hold it passionately because it helps us to be distinguished as children and servants of God. So we continue to talk about the scene of hypocrisy. Um, on Monday we looked at um, double life. Yesterday we looked at double standards. So double life, you are having a kind of life here and then on this guide you have. It's like you're living two lives. Yesterday we looked at double standard. Like, you know, there's a standard, a measure, which people are weighing you. And today we are going to look at duplicity, duplicity, duplicity. So I pray that God will continue to speak to you as we continue to learn. Father, we thank you as we hear your word this morning. Continue to build our faith. On you, Jesus Christ, the firm foundation, whom we believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, today, I know you can see it's red. Um, we are commemorating the life of St. Bartholomew. St. Bartholomew was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. He was flayed alive. Flayed is actually um, the skin. His skin. He was actually skinned alive into stripes, then pulled off, leaving his body open and bleeding for a long time. And then finally he was beheaded. When you call yourself a Christian and indeed in your heart you know you're living for Christ, sometimes the kind of persecution you'll have to go through are the ones that sometimes will even cost you your life, will cost you your friends, will cost you even your family members because you're standing for Christ. So St. Bartholomew, whom today we, we are commemorating um, him, that's the kind of life that he died and he was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, um, and, and we thank God for his life. And today, um, part of the kind of the things that I know, uh, servants of God, and rather the warriors of the church, or rather uh, uh, faith warriors, some of the things that they were really fighting, Jesus Christ himself being a good example is hypocrisy, is hypocrisy. And what really made Jesus even to go to the cross was his stand on matters hypocrisy. He was so much loud when he was talking to the uh, Pharisees and the scribes and pointing out to them the issues of hypocrisy, that they used to make sure that the cup outside was looking good, but inside was not, was not what it was. Outside they were talking about spirituality, but inside it was the opposite of it. Jesus Christ pointed that out so much. And... Why he was crucified is because of his stand, and he was pointing out hypocrisy. And this week we are looking at the scene of hypocrisy. So today, as we think about the life of Bartholomew, we want to look at duplicity, duplicity, which um, is doubleness of heart or speech, doubleness of heart or speech, insincerity, a sustained from a sustained form of deception which consists in entertaining or pretending to be to entertain one of feelings and acting as if influenced by another. Bad faith. You can say it's bad faith. That this person is looking at you and saying, you know what, I love you so much, but inside is like, you know what, hey, it's not that way. This person will be like, you know what, I am so much, in fact, they can even quote the Bible, but inside, mm -mm. Double life. Actually, maybe in the morning they are Christian, but in the evening they are different people. And we have been looking at this so much this week. Duplicity. It's like you're duplicating, um, you're duplicating your life so that it can suit a particular need, a particular environment. Like a chameleon, you know. A chameleon can be able to change and, 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 and be um, fit into any kind of life. So you are doubling, you are actually duplicating your life. You are taking it here and then you are going trying to make it fit into this situation. It's duplicate of it. It's like when you go and uh, duplicate something. The original will remain there. Photocopy will be on this other side. Actually, duplicity, you can say it's a photocopy. It's not the original. You are in church, it's a photocopy of you. The original is on the other side. You are at home, original. When you come to church, duplicate. Or you are in church, original, outside, duplicate. It's both ways. For me, I like it when it's, you are reflecting Christ in totality. Your life in church is the same, same life outside. 
you are living that kind of life. But when your life in, at home is different from what it is in church, then you are suffering from that element of duplicity. My prayer today is your speech should remain the same, not the opposite. When your yes is yes, let it be yes. That your life will continue to reflect who you are everywhere. Don't be a double person as we are looking yesterday. Duplicity. Let your life not be a pretentious kind of life. The use of two or more distinct allegation or answer where one is sufficient. You know, distinct allegation. When they say he is born again, when you take this person onto this other side, the people here will know he is born again. In other words, I'm looking at duplicity. Duplicity as a form of you representing the exact person that is defined by anybody, anywhere. Somebody will know you the way you are, where you are, everywhere. He will not say no. This one is a different person, but he'll know that this is the exact representation of this person. But sometimes, people will duplicate their life to suit a particular need. So, you will not be indeed a Christian, but it will be a photocopy of a Christian. You are in church, but indeed you are not a Christian. You know, you are there because you are coming every Sunday. And somebody said, coming to church every Sunday does not make you a Christian. In the same way, if you go and stand in a police station, you will not become a policeman. Hope you've gotten that. Duplicity. Who you are should reflect exactly who you are. Where you are should reflect exactly who you are. Whether you're in church, whether you're out of church, whether you are at home or not at home, it should reflect replicate exactly who you are. And you know what? God indeed is seeing you. God knows the original you. God knows the original you. He knows who you are here. He knows who you are outside. That is why he was so much angered with this church. In Isaiah chapter 1, where he's so much bitter and he's saying, I have more than enough of burnt offering because he knows you. Where he says, your new moon feast and your appointment festival, I hate them. Why? Because he knows them. He's talking about these people who were in church then. They were offering sacrifices, but their life was of du double life. They were living a double life. Duplicity. What they were showing in the church is not what they were. It was a photocopy. And God was so angered with them. So this morning, what has duplicity done in your life? Are you living a double standard life, representing Jesus yet not representing him? Do you have a life which is two? We have been looking at it so much this day or this week. We'll continue to look at it more. There are consequences of duplicity. Number one, God will not hear your prayers. It will be noise. It will be noise. You will come and pray, come and pray, but God will not hear your prayer. Number two, your deeds will make people label you. And right now, even in our situation, in our country, many have been labeled already. Your deeds will make people label you. Number three, you will eventually be judged by God. The lukewarm church was spit. The double-sided church was spit. My prayer is that you don't duplicate to suit a situation. Let where you are represent what you exactly is. And if you know your life is not right, don't try to make it good. Ask God to show you the sin in your life so that you may represent him well. It's unfortunate that many are living a duplicated life a photocopy, a photocopy. Here you are good, but there you are bad. The problem of photocopy is that one day it will lose its quality and the original will be demanded for. 
My prayer is that God will help you to see your life, to repent and to ask him, God, I want to be the original wherever I will be, not a duplicate. Help me, God, to be an original in everything that I do, in everything that I say. Help me to be an original, that I will not be judged one time, that God, my prayer will not be hindered, that God, people will not label me. That is my prayer for you this morning. Be the original. Be the original. Reflect today upon how free you are when you are around people. When you feel like there's some strength, them struggle, just know that God, I need to live out of this life, to live out of this kind of life so that I can represent you. Are you a person of great honesty, sincerity, and transparency? Ask God to help you to live an original life, not a photocopy, to live an original life. And if you are a photocopy, I pray that God will help you to lead an original life. There are many people who are suffering because of photocopy lives. There are many people who, because they did not pray much, they fell into the trap of photocopies. You know, you are desiring maybe to get this person to be your, your spouse, but because you didn't pray so much, this person disguised themselves and now you are you have fallen into the tribe. I pray that God will give you grace to come out of it. If you are living a photocopy life and you are hurting people, I pray that God will help you not to hurt people. That you will ask God to forgive you. You will not live a photocopy, a duplicated life. Christ hates that. May your yes be yes. May your no be no. So that when he comes, he will take you. He will judge you. And what kind of judgment will you receive? Will it be a photocopy or an original one? I pray that we'll become original Christians. We become original us. Be you. Accept who you are. If there are changes in your life, say, God, help me to change. That when I am in your church, God, people will know me as born again. When I'm in the world, people will know me as born again. Help me, God, to be that kind of person. In my relating with other people, God, help me that my children will know me as a born again father in, at home, as a born again father in church. Not different people. Help me, God. Born again leader. Born again managers. Born again husbands. Born again husbands. Leaving that original you, not photocopy, not photocopy. This morning, I pray that God will help us to be the originals, not duplicates, not duplicates suffering from duplicity. Which side are you? Are you the original you or are you a photocopy of you? My prayer today, be the original that God intends you to be. Let us pray. We thank you once again, God, for reminding us, Lord, of duplicity, which is a consequence or a, 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 a product of hypocrisy. We pray that God will help us to live original lives. Even as we think about your servants who offer themselves even to death, Lord, standing in faith, defending your word. Help us, Lord, to live an original life, not photocopies, because God that is what you desire, that we re represent you as original as you desire us to be. Anybody who is suffering because of being duped by photocopies, Lord, I pray that you'll help them to come back to you for grace and healing. And I pray that, Lord, by your grace, help us to see tomorrow. By your grace, help us that we may live original lives, Lord, but not photocopies. Help us to represent you everywhere with our word, with our action, in everything we do and say. Help us to be original. We praise you and we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine towards you and give you grace. And even as you continue to anticipate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. 
Be the original, not the photocopy. God bless you. See you tomorrow as my brother continues from this, with this same, same series as we continue to do it upon the Lord. God bless you. God bless you.